Hello students, I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to General Mathematics Grade 11. Our next lesson is all about solving rational inequalities. So, balikan muna natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng rational inequality. A rational inequality is an inequality containing rational expression. So, aside from having inequality symbols like greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, dapat yung uh, variables ni numerator ni denominator, dapat ang exponent nila ay uh, non-negative integers. So, dapat walang walang naka-raise sa fraction na exponent, walang naka-raise sa negative na exponent, at walang variable sa loob ng radical symbol. Okay? An inequality may have infinitely many solutions. So, as compared in solving irrational equation, irrational equation, limited lang yung uh, possible uh, nasagot, like pwedeng isa, pwedeng dalawa. Si inequality naman, in trying to solve an inequality, marami siyang solutions. The set of all solutions can be expressed using set notation or the interval notation. So, ano nga bang difference nilang dalawa? The set notation is of the form, uh, this one. Uh, the set of all x's such that black. Okay? And then, the interval notation naman it makes use of either square brackets, parentheses, or a combination of both. So, an, uh, papaano ba yung interval na yan? Malala, interval notation na yan? Malalaman natin yan mayami. So, let's try to visualize the differences between set notation and the interval notation. At syempre, uh, yung representation niya through its graph. Okay, so, normally yung set of real numbers, it is being represented by the number line. Okay, number line yung uh, gitna ng number line ay zero. Yung mga numbers na sa left ay uh, from negative 1 to negative infinity and then yung mga numbers na sa kanan naman ay all positive okay so as you can see in this part uh, a from a to b uh, may hole siya ibig sabihin kapag may hole hindi siya kasama okay? hindi kasama yung value ni x ang kasama lang diyan yung lahat ng nasa gitna ni value a at ni value B. If we will try to write this in terms of set notation, it will be this one. The set of all x's such that x is greater than A but less than B. Okay? Nasa gitna ni A and B yung value ni x. Itong mga nandito lang yung consider na values ni x. And as you can see, wala siyang or equal to, wala siyang or equal to dito kasi whole siya. Ibig sabihin, hindi kasama yung value ni A, hindi kasama yung value ni B. Understood? And in interval notation, kapag walang or equal to, we make use of the parenthesis. Okay, parenthesis lang yan. Hindi, hindi natin siya ginagawang bracket. Magiging square bracket siya kapag meron siyang or equal to. So, in this case, since walang or equal to, since whole yan, whole yung A at B, we make use of the parenthesis to represent it in interval notation. Okay? The second part is this one. From A to B, as you can see, uh, as compared doon sa nauna, hindi na whole yung A at B. Ibig sabihin, kasama na sila. Kasama na yung values ni A, ni, ni A at ni B sa magiging ano natin, sa uh, ating set notation at sa interval notation. So, if we will represent this in set notation, it will be the set of all x's such that x is uh, greater than or equal to a but less than or equal to b. So, as you can see, in between siya ni a and b and then kinonsider natin, kinonsider na natin yung values ni a and b kaya mayroon na siyang or equal to. And then, sa interval notation, uh, we make use of the square brackets na kasi kasama na yung A at B. Uh, shaded na yung circles nilang dalawa. As compared doon sa nasa taas, kapag hindi yan shaded, kapag open siya, kapag whole lang siya, we make use of parentheses, we make use of less than, greater than, ganyan. Wala siyang or equal. The third one, uh, sa graph, uh, from A to B, si A lang yung shaded, si B ay hindi shaded. So, the, yung values ni X dito, 
uh, in between A, A and B kasama si A hindi kasama si B so yung set notation here we have x is uh, the set of all x's such that x is greater than or equal to A but less than B so as you can see wala siyang or equal to kasi whole yung uh, circle ni B hindi siya shaded and then sa interval notation si A lang yung shaded kaya siya lang yung magkakaroon ng uh, square bracket yung sa part ni B uh, open ba parenthesis siya kasi open yung circle whole siya hindi siya shaded this part uh, nagkapayit naman ng positions si A yung hindi shaded si B yung shaded so uh, yung set notation niya set of all x's such that x is greater than A but less than or equal to B kaya siya may or equal to kasi shaded yung uh, circle ni B and then sa interval notation uh, since open yung uh, circle open ito si A kaya siya parenthesis and then shaded si circle ni B kaya siya square bracket about this uh, from A to positive infinity positive infinity kasi it approaches to the right papunta siya sa kanan at alam natin na yung mga numbers na sa right ay positive papalaki na ng papalaki so yung set notation niya we have the set of all x's such that x is greater than a pwedeng pagbalik ta rin yan pwedeng maging x is greater than a so in interval notation it is equivalent to uh, parenthesis a to positive infinity this is positive infinity okay although hindi na nilagay si positive kasi obvious naman na kapag walang pag walang positive na nakalagay understood na kapag walang positive symbol na nakalagay understood na positive na siya just like in writing number c5 understood na siya na positive kahit walang nakalagay na positive symbol Next one, kapag meron siyang, uh, kapag circle siya and then shaded naman siya, that means kabilang na si A. Okay, so yung, inter uh, yung set notation niya, we have set of all x's such that x is greater than or equal to A. Since kasama na si A, uh, may square, square bracket nang ginamit and then kay infinity, uh, laging parenthesis. Take note, kapag infinity ang pinag-uusapan, laging parenthesis kasi hindi naman natin alam kung saan siya mag end Understood? This part, uh, as you can see, it approaches negative infinity kasi sa kaliwa siya, sa kaliwa yung ano, direction niya. So, hindi kasama si B, papaano natin i-represent yun in set notation? It will be set of all x's such that x is less than B. Okay? x is less than B kasi papaliit na siya na papaliit. Bakit less than lang? Kasi open siya, hindi siya shaded. Then, uh, sa interval notation, from negative infinity to B. Then, uh, parenthesis. Parenthesis kasi hindi siya shaded. Hindi siya, hindi siya below. And then, hindi, wala siyang or equal. Next one, shaded na yung B. Kaya, ang kanyang set notation, set of all x's, such that x is great, uh, less than or equal to B. Or equal to na siya, kasi shaded na siya. And then, sa interval, meron a bracket na siya, square bracket na siya, kasi meron na siyang or equal to. Shaded na siya. Kabilang na siya. Ang, kapag ang pinag-usapan ay yung buong number line naman it is already R the set of all real numbers ang interval niya from negative infinity to positive infinity understood? so take note we are uh, talking about real numbers here so kapag sinabing from A to B hi, hi, hindi lang siya integers hindi lang whole numbers yung nandyan hindi lang 5 hindi lang 6 hindi lang negative 7 Pwedeng square root of 2, pwedeng 1 half, pwedeng negative pi, ganyan. As long as real numbers siya. Okay? Uh, again, we are talking about real numbers here. Hindi lang siya limited sa uh, whole numbers, sa integers. Hindi lang siya limited sa fractions. Kabilang lahat. Uh, pati rational numbers at irrational numbers. All rational numbers and irrational numbers. Understood? Take note, solutions to inequalities in this lesson must be in interval notation. Okay, so uh, take note, in writing your final answer, dapat interval notation ho yung uh, gagamitin ninyo. Okay? Steps in solving. 
rational inequalities. The first one, we write the inequality as a single fraction on one side and zero on the other side. So normally, uh, yung zero nasa right side, yung uh, lahat ng uh, may variable, lahat ng fractions nililipat sa uh, left side and then uh, sinisimplify siya into a single fraction. Then solve for the roots of x both in numerator and denominator. Hanapin daw natin yung uh, values ni x doon kay numerator at kay denominator. Then we arrange the roots in ascending order pataas. Construct intervals by pairing the smaller root with the negative infinity. Yan yung unang pair. Pangalawang pair, yung dalawang roots. Okay, syempre, mauna yung pinakamaliit followed by yung uh, mas malaki. And then the lastly, the larger root will be paired with the positive infinity. Select values taken from these intervals, then test if the interval is a solution by substituting the value to the original equation. The value taken from the interval satisfies the inequality, then it is a solution. Otherwise, it is not a solution. If two or more intervals satisfy the inequality, combine them using the union sign or yung u. Okay? So, warning! The sense of inequality is unchanged. Yung direction ng inequality, inequality daw natin ay hindi, hindi mababago. If the same real number is added to or subtracted from both sides of the inequality, take note, hindi maiiba yung direction ng inequality symbol natin kapag mag-a-add or mag-subtract tayo ng parehong real number sa magkabilang sides ng inequality natin. Moreover, the sense of inequality is unchanged if both sides of the inequality is multiplied by or divided by the same positive real number. So, hindi rin mababago yung direction ng inequality symbol natin kapag ang minultiply or dinivide natin sa magkabilang sides ng inequality natin ay positive. Parehong positive na real number. Okay? On the other hand, the sense of inequality is reversed. Ibig sabihin, maiiba yung direction ng inequality symbol natin if both sides of the inequality is multiplied by or divided by the same negative real number. Kapag negative na yung minultiply or divide natin sa magkabilang sides, uh, maiiba na yung direction ni inequality natin. Okay? So, uh, take note of these things. Example number one, solve for x plus 2 all over x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, we solve for the inequality x plus 2 all over x minus 3, which is less than or equal to 0. So, uh, yung first step, we rewrite daw the inequality as a single fraction uh, in one side that dapat ang maiwan sa uh, right side ay si 0. Since uh, single fraction na siya, 0 na yung naiwan sa right, let's proceed sa second step. The second step, we try to solve for the values of x in the numerator and the denominator. So, so doing so, we have uh, x plus 2 is equal to 0. This will give us negative 2. Then, x minus 3 is equal to 0. This will give us x is equal to positive 3. So, the values of x in numerator is negative 2 and the value, the value of x in the denominator is equal to positive 3. Then, next one, we arrange the roots in ascending order. Ascending na siya, negative 2 and 3. And then, uh, construct intervals by pairing the small, small root with the negative infinity. Yung pinakamalit daw dyan, ipipair kay negative infinity. So, again, as I said earlier, yung kapag uh, infinity yung ginagamit, we make use of parentheses. Kasi we do not know the exact ending. Wala naman talagang ending uh, yung infinity. So, negative infinity then negative 2 since pinakamalit siya. So, dito na magkakatalo kung alin bang gagamitin kung uh, square bracket pa or parenthesis. So, take note, mayroon siyang or equal to. So, ibig sabihin, it's either talagang ganito ang gagamitin. Pero, depende. Kung yung value ni x ay nasa uh, na nakuha sa numerator at mayroon siyang 
uh, or equal to dito, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin ay square bracket. Pero kapag may inequality symbol siya, pero yung value ay nakuha sa denominator, we make use, we still make use of this one. Nagkakaintindihan ba? Saan galing si negative 2? Galing siya kay uh, numerator at mayroon siyang or equal to, so we make use of square bracket. The second pairing is yung dalawang nakuha natin, we will uh, combine them, we will pair them. So, we have negative 2 here and positive 3. Since si 3 ay nakuha sa denominator, uh, kahit na mayroon siyang equal to dito, we still make use of the parenthesis. Okay? Kasi kung iaalaw natin na uh, uh, iaalaw natin yung value ni 3 kay x, it will make the denominator 0. It will make the inequality undefined. Understood? Then yung pangatlo, we have the largest, which is 3, it prepared kay positive infinity. Again, kapag in, uh, positive infinity, we make use of parentheses. Now, next step, uh, kukuha tayo ng tig isang value coming from each uh, interval. So, I'll choose negative 3 here. So, bakit negative 3, sir? Kasi it approaches negative infinity. What's next kay, kay negative 2? Negative 3, negative 4. Uh, if, if you want to try any value, you can do so. Pero in my, in, in, for, for me, I'll choose negative 3 kasi yun yung pinakamadali. In this part, I'll choose 0 kasi yun din yung pinakamadaling substitute That is, uh, inside this interval, what's, next after negative 2 ba? Negative 2, negative 1, and then 0. Then here, 3 to positive infinity, I'll choose 4. After choosing uh, values of the interval, from the intervals, we substitute each value sa ating uh, original inequality. Sa ating inequality. So, ibig sabihin, kapag uh, ang lumabas ay true statement, isa siya, or part siya ng solution. Pero kapag false statement yung lumabas, hindi siya part ng solution. Okay, so, if x is 3, substituting that here, we have negative 3 plus 2 all over negative 3 minus 3. So, that is negative 3 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. Or this is 1 all over 6. Si 1 all over 6 ba? Mas maliit ba siya? Kay 0. No. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya, hindi kasama, hindi kasama yung uh, interval na ito. Next one, we have, if x is 0, then substituting 0 here in the inequality, we have 0 plus 2 all over 0 minus 3. So, that is, 0 plus 2 is 2. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Si negative 2 thirds ba? Eh, mas maliit kay 0. Yes. So, it is a true statement. So, kasama siya. And then, if x is 4, substituting 4 here in the inequality, we have 4 plus 2 all over 4 minus 3. So, that is 6 all over 1 or 6. Si 6 ba? Mas, malaki, mas maliit ba siya kay 0? No. So, this is a... Uh, this, is, this interval is not included in the solution. So, Therefore, our answer is uh, negative 2 and positive 3. This is our answer. Understood? For the second example, what value will make 2x minus 5 all over x minus 5 be less than or equal to 3? For the solution, watch this video. This example, what value will make the inequality 2x minus 5 all over x minus 5 be less than or equal to 3? Okay, so first step, lahat dapat ng uh, nasa right, ililipat sa left. And then, ang may iwan sa right ay 0. And then, we try to rewrite the given into a single fraction, yung nasa left. So, we have 2x minus 5 over x minus 5 so uh, transposing positive 3 will be negative 3 and then 
uh, less than or equal to zero. So trying, we try to rewrite this as a single fraction. Understood no one yung denominator ni negative 3. So ang LCD dito ay x minus 5. x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 is 1. 1 times 2x minus 5 is 2x minus 5 x minus 5 divided by 1 is x minus 5 times negative 3 is negative 3 times x minus 5 and then we bring down less than or equal to 0 simplifying further this will give us 2x minus 5 negative 3 we distribute negative 3 to all the terms inside the parentheses negative 3 times x is negative 3x negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15 all over x minus 5 is uh, less than or equal to 0. Simplifying further, we get 2x minus 3x is negative x. Negative 5 plus 15 is positive 10 all over x minus 5 is less than or equal to 0. So, since uh, na-write na natin yung lahat ng terms sa left side to a single fraction, we try to solve for the values of x kay numerator at kay denominator. So doing so, we have negative x plus 10 is equal to 0. So negative x is equal to transposing positive 10, it will, it will be negative 10. So dividing both sides by negative 1, we have x is equal to 10. Then, we bring down x minus 5 as well. Equate natin siya kay 0. Solving for x, we have positive. Next step, we have uh, I-prepare naman Gagawa na tayo ng interval Okay, yung pinakamaliit, i-prepare kay Negative infinity So, ano yung pinakamaliit dito? Sorry for the interval sign I'll just erase it So, we have negative infinity 5 So, saan galing si 5? Si 5 ay galing kay uh, denominator. So, kahit na meron siyang or equal to dito, galing siya sa kay denominator. So, uh, parenthesis yung gagamitin natin. So, 5. And then, 10. Si 10, saan galing? Sa numerator. So, since meron siyang or equal to dito, we make use of a square bracket. And then, yung pinakamalaki, prepare kay positive infinity. Next step, kukuha tayo ng tig-isang value coming from these intervals. So here, I'll choose 0. I'll choose 6 here. And I'll choose 11 here. So this will be, if x is 0, substituting 0 here, we have 2 times 0 minus 5 all over 0 minus 5. Wala na yan. So this will give us negative 5 divided by negative 5 that is 1 si 1 ba mas maliit ba siya kay 3 yes okay if x is 6 then we have 2 times 6 minus 5 all over 6 minus 5 here this will be 12 minus 5 is 7 and then 6 minus 5 is 1 so 7 divided by 1 is 7. Si 7 ba? Mas ma late ba siya kay 3? No. This is a false statement. Okay? And if x is 11, we have 2 times 11 minus 5 all over 11 minus 5. This is 22 minus 5 is uh, 17 all over 11 minus 5 is 6. So, if we try to divide this, 17 divided by 6, this is 2, 12. So, this uh, 5. This will give us 2, kahit wala na pala to, 2 and 5 all over 6. Si 2 and, 2 and 5 all over 6 ba? Siya ba ay mas maliit kay 3? Yes. Okay? Since dalawa yung uh, nakasatisfy, yung nagbigay ng true statement after substituting uh, the values coming from these intervals, we combine them using this symbol, yung union na symbol. So therefore, our answer will be 
from negative infinity to positive 5 union with 10 to positive infinity this is our answer okay for the third example solve for 2x all over x plus 11 is greater than 1 so for the solution watch this video in this example we solve for 2x all over x plus 11 is greater than 1 so we transpose positive 1 going to the left so it will give us 2x all over x plus 11 minus 1 is uh, greater than 0 so what will happen next here we try to get the LCD understood now 1 yung denominator nito the LCD is x plus 11 x plus 11 divided by x plus 11 is 1 1 times 2x is 2x then x plus 11 divided by 1 is x plus 11 times 1 is still x plus 11 so as you can see kahit na same yung sagot, I still enclose it kay parenthesis. Kasi kung direct ko na nailalagay si x plus 11, buburahin ko na yung parenthesis as yung 1, mamamali na yung sagot. Okay, so be careful talaga. So, take note, nakapag-subtraction ng operation and then binomial or trinomial yung multiply mo, uh, always enclose that using parenthesis. Simplifying further, we get 2x. Uh, we distribute negative 1 to all the terms here negative 1 times x is negative x negative 1 times 11 is negative 11 all over x plus 11 is bigger than 0 so 2x minus x we have x minus 11 all over x plus 11 is greater than 0 okay so next step we bring down the numerator equate that to 0 to find the value of x so x transposing negative 11 it will give us positive 11 so bring down the denominator equate that to 0 uh, transposing positive 11 it will, give, it will give us negative 11 next step we try to create uh, intervals yung pinakamaliit i-prepare kay negative infinity so since wala siyang or equal to uh, kahit yung number na yan ay galing sa numerator or denominator uh, parenthesis na yung gagamitin. That is because wala siyang or equal to. Next one we have negative 11 and positive 11. And then positive 11 to positive infinity. Next one, kukuha tayo ng tig isang value coming from these intervals I'll choose negative 12 here here 0 sa part na to ay 12 next step we substitute these values doon sa ating original inequality if x is 12 negative 12 then we have 2 times negative 12 all over negative 12 plus 11 so this will give us uh, negative 24 all over negative 1 or this is 24 is 24 greater than 1? Yes. If x is 0, then we have 2 times 0 over 0 plus 11. So this is, cancel na agad yan. Uh, 0 divided by 11 is 0. So 0 ba mas malaki kay 1? Hindi. This is a false statement. The third one, if x is 12, we have 2 times 12 all over 12 plus 11 2 times 12 is 24 all over 12 plus 11 is 23 so see 24 24 divided by 23 this is 1 1 times 23 is 23 all over 1 so this is equivalent to 1 and 1 all over 23 see 1 and 1 all over 23 ba mas malaki ba siya kay 1 yes so therefore, since dalawang interval yung nagbigay sa atin ng uh, true statement after substituting their uh, arbitrary values kay original inequality, we, we, will, we will combine them using the union sign. So our answer will be 
negative infinity to negative 11 union with positive 11 to positive infinity this is our answer okay for the activity do activity 5 on page 19 submission of all outputs will be on friday